Remember the other night where I was like, he's calling for you, and you're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what am I going to do? Go cool. get him? <laughs> so this first song, uh, we wrote in 1987. Okay. <laughs> Hummingbird was a really fun song to write. We wrote Hummingbird in Nashville with Natalie Hemby, who's one of our favorite writers, and it was really fun. Um, we were in Nashville, Joaquin was like tiny, tiny, and she came to us with this little chorus, or I think it was just really one line, Hummingbird looking for sweet water. And it was real chill. And it was chill. real chill, and like, kind of folksy, and and we we just loved it. Like, as soon as she started singing it, we were like, what is that? Can we write, can we write to that? And it was just this great idea of somebody who's like sick of trying so hard for somebody to like, to, to love somebody well, and it shouldn't be that hard. And so, um, so we, we wrote it and kind of Abner, I think, got out the electric and put well, a We started writing it as it. like a little singer songwriter thing, just acoustic, real slow. Yeah. And then uh, my father-in-law has this really old 1970s guitar amp that I love and has a really cool tremolo. And so I was like, ah, oh, let me grab this guitar and start playing it. And it just kept moving, progressing and progressing into this more aggressive thing. And I love that the song, I love the dichotomy between the theme of the song, lyrically, being I don't want to, I'm tired of having to try so hard for something that's not working, something that's not worth it. And then the song itself, the sound of it being very aggressive, almost being the opposite of the lyric theme. It's fun. It was a lot of fun. And we actually, I remember recording the song. Uh, sitting up here in this very room by myself, just had a strat in my hand, and I played riff after riff after riff just over the acoustic and vocal, and it was so much fun, and I knew I was wasting time and that none of it would be productive, but I was having a blast. And then Amanda came up and she was like, you know, that could work. You should just like, like, that. like tone it down a little, <laughs> like make it make sense, but then it could be it could be really fun. So I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. So there was this moment I was playing this riff, literally, like there's these little skylights you can't see up here. Maybe we should open those. Would the light be better? Oh, this is good. Um, I was standing on top of a chair. This sounds so dramatic because it was. I was standing <laughs> on top of a chair, strat in hand, shredding this riff, and like literally crying, looking into the sky, <laughs> playing this riff. And then Were I you went wearing to... a cape? I wasn't, but I'm I should have. imagining like a cape. I should have had a cape on. So I sat down after the emotions you know, settled, and I listened to it, and it was terrible. <laughs> it was the worst thing I'd ever thought of. <laughs> So I deleted it. I didn't even want there to be evidence that it was ever a thing. So I started over and came up with the And that's how Hummingbird came to be. 